everybody, thank you for following us. This is the first episode of World Seed Channel, the new YouTube channel of ISF. Thank you for coming with us. Today we are in Agroscope, it's very close to ISF office and since it's very cold outside, it's winter in Switzerland, there is nothing much to see in the field. So we are taking you inside to visit the gene bank and you will see that the genetic resources that are kept in the gene bank are actually the treasures that will help to breed varieties that are needed for tomorrow. Indeed, farmers need improved varieties to feed a growing population and we will discover how they are kept in Agroscope. Please follow me! Agroscope is a Swiss center of excellence for agricultural research and is affiliated with the Federal Office for Agriculture, also known as OFAC, after its French acronym. Agroscope conducts research along the entire value chain of the agriculture and the food sector. Here, in Agroscope's office in Changin, we meet Bitte Chercheur, who has been responsible for the gene bank for the past nine years. Ok, mon nom est Béaté Chercheur et puis je suis la responsable de la banque de gènes ici à Change Agroscope. Et puis euh, ça englobe tous les, tous les travaux qu'il euh, qu faut faire pour maintenir la collection en vie. A gene bank is a kind of repository where plant genetic resources are stored and conserved for future use. They are essential for preserving and conserving plant genetic material, which farmers, researchers and plant breeders can use to develop new plant varieties to respond to a pressing need, such as resistance to new pests of diseases or improved nutritional content. It is important to note that plants provide us with more than 80% of our nutrition according to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations or FAO. Plants also provide us with fiber, clothing, shelter and energy. Conserving plant genetic resources in places like a gene bank is crucial to food production, which is coming under pressure as the global population grows and our climate changes. Here, in Agroscope, Bitte and her team plant, harvest, dry, process and store seeds of cereals, vegetables and medicinal plants for conservation in the gene bank and for many other purposes, mainly research. Today, in Agroscope, we are having a look at the entire process, starting in the granary. Alors, on est ici dans le grenier. Nous avons plus que 1000 céréales de Ronchon. Ils sont récoltés dans des sacs en coton et puis euh, voilà, on, on les met ici en attendant qu'ils sont bâtis. Once dried, the grains are cleaned and separated from weed and soil particles. They will then be stored in little bags. Next, we head over to check where they conduct germination tests, which are important to be sure to store only healthy seeds, which will be reproduced when needed. C'est là où on fait les tests de germination. Ah, d'accord. Alors, on peut régler la lumière, la température, et puis euh, ah, okay. on les met ici dedans Tout pour cas, faire les tests. Test de germination. Voilà. On les met dans des sachets ah, aluminium. Là, on a une machine pour mettre sous vide. Sous vide, c'est ça. Après, il y a une étiquette qui vient encore dessus. Il y a une étiquette aussi dedans. Puis après, c'est prêt pour mettre au congélateur. OK. And so we head to the fridge, where plant genetic material are stored at 4 degrees Celsius. Mais après, on appelle ça la collection active, parce que c'est ici qu'on va, quand on a des demandes de, de semences, c'est ici qu'on va chercher les, les semences. Hein. D'accord. Puis le congélateur, c'est vraiment la conservation. 
Et qui vous demande des semences Est-ce que vous avez des personnes extérieures à Grosscope qui vous demandent oui. des semences mm -hmm. Oui. Oui, alors c'est surtout euh, la recherche des autres sélectionneurs. Euh, après, on a aussi des, euh, maintenant c'est très moderne, des, des paysans qui, qui révèlent des anciennes variétés euh, et puis des NGO aussi. D'accord, vous les échangez, juste pour faire une petite parenthèse juridique du coup, euh, vous les échangez avec quel type de contrat Avec un SMTA, oui, un Standard SMTA. Material Transfer Agreement. The Standard Material Transfer Agreement is a contract which terms are defined by the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. It is the fast and easy way to share material part of the multilateral system where access conditions and benefit sharing are predefined. After the fridge, we head over to the freezer where plant genetic resources are kept in minus 20 degrees Celsius allowing them to be stored pretty much for eternity. Here, Bitter and her team store sachets of plant genetic material, some of which will be sent to the world's largest seed bank in Svalbard, Norway, the Crop Trust, which ISF provided support for. Et puis je suis allée lors du 10e anniversaire, oui. D'accord. C'était une expérience intéressante, en grandeur impressionnant. <laughs> C'était vraiment impressionnant. Ah ouais. On parle toujours que ici on a 10 000, hein, ou 13 000, on a en tout. Et, et là-bas, ils ont, ils ont trois chambres. Et une chambre, elle peut contenir un million. Et puis, je crois que c'est qu'une fois qu'on est sur place, et puis on rentre là-dedans, puis on dit waouh! Qu'après on voit, il y a du riz, de l'Inde, il y a les Canadiens qui ont amené les matériels. C'est vraiment euh, très impressionnant. Hein. Alors, on va faire vite. Oui, on va, on va un petit peu tirer la porte. 10 000 variétés euh, conservées, du coup, ici, presque l'éternité. On peut dire ça, oui, c'est comme ça. C'est moins 10 ici, c'est un peu plus chaud. Et puis ici, on prépare les, les sachets pour soi le bras. Ouais, voilà. Back in warmer temperatures, we visit the herbarium, which serves as an archive dating back to 1900. La collection de semences euh, du premier directeur euh, de la station fédérale de recherche à date uh, de 1900. In the herbarium, Beaton and her team store dried parts of different grains varieties such as the ears of corn and wheat with accompanying detailed physical descriptions of each material. They regularly conduct quality control to make sure the materials are in good state and if not, they are replaced. This collection is a part of their efforts to conserve Swiss patrimony and also currently houses the largest collection of spelt varieties in the world. On a plus que 2200 épôtres. Puis c'est la plus grande au niveau mondial. Ah oui, oui. ici. We learned a lot from our visit to Agroscope about how Switzerland works to conserve plant genetic resources for use of farmers, breeders and NGOs in the near and distant future. As it is currently winter in Switzerland, we cannot see all the plants grown in Agroscope's greenhouse. However, we will be back in the summer to find out how they plant and harvest seeds. Thanks to the gene banks like Agroscope, Genetic resources are conserved, allowing plant breeders to draw from a larger pool of germplasm to find solutions that farmers and others need. These genetic resources may contain the traits that future generations will need to overcome challenges like a changing climate, a growing population and increasingly scarce resources like land and water. Thank you for watching. Until the next episode of Seed Talks. Thank you.